Welcome back to another fancy episode with your normal host, Tubby Joe. Not that there is any other host on this channel, but me. Today we have the Mountain Dew Fruit Quake Edition. We're going to crack it open here, give it a try. For some reason this seems like it's the thing we do now is try the new flavors of Mountain Dew that come out. Well, it does smell a little bit fruity. Um, okay, so maybe it's just me. Like, it's not necessarily bad. It kind of almost reminds me of like, um, it's not fruit punch, but it's, it's not Kool-Aid, it's not Tropicana, they generally come in like the giant jo gallon jugs, you know, there's the red and the blue, I think there might be other colors in that, but mainly, kind of reminds me of the red flavor, I can't remind, remember what the stupid brand is off the top of my head, kind of reminds me of that, but it's like it has almost an aftertaste. Like, you know how if you go to, like, um, Kohl's or JCPenney's, some, you know, department store type thing, where there's candles, and you sniff the candles, and you have the ones that smell really fake, and they have, like, that fake candle smell, kind of, almost? Almost has, like, a slight taste of how that smells, if that makes any sense. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Like, it's not bad. Like, I think I definitely like this better than the Flamin' Hot. Like, out of the three I've tried from the Flamin' Hot, the Voodoo, and this, like, I'd drink this. I'd say this is better than Voodoo, but... It's not something I'm gonna go to the store and buy, but... All in all, for Mountain Dew trying their different concoctions as of late, it seems... No, I'd say this is pretty good. I'd say, you know, that they nailed this one pretty good this time. Um, but yeah, um, if you got any other weird Mountain Dew flavors that they come out with that you really want me to see, um, hit me up. Or if there's just one you want my want to see what I think of it, you know, that's an old one that I can maybe get. We'll see if we can do that. But until that and next time happens, stay spicy, my scrub nuggets. Or in this case, we'll just stay fruity for now. Have a good one. But it's pretty good for being a mountain quake fruit. Fruit quake. But it kind of, you know, that that candle smell like, you know, when you, you know, chew on a candle at the store. Okay, like, you probably don't do that. I hope you don't do that at least. But, um, I am not telling anybody to chew on candles for clarification. Do not tr do this, please. I'm telling you not to now. This is... A disclaimer and a warning. Editor, cut that out. D just remove this segment entirely starting now. Hey, we have our lovely. Got it. I'm good. <laughs>